Well, gentlemen, now let's make sense of this. And I'll start with you, Stephen Walker, before we went on break. I had to come to you, but uh, was, to, was to cut you short because of time. How likely is Capitol Hill? That's where the offices of the Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga are. And the Cabra home of the former President Daniel Trujillo Arab Moy going to be the places that will shape who will be the next President of the Republic of Kenya, considering the trooping of political players into uh, these uh, uh, two places that I've just mentioned. And uh, are we reading too much, or these are just normal visits that are paid to the former President by other leaders across the country? No, you must remember that the handshake was about succession of 2022. And you must also remember that uh, ever since the president became, our president became president, his main advisor has mm -hmm. been the retired president. Whenever there's a crisis, he goes for consultations. Mm -hmm. And so what is happening now is what we call the continuation of government. Whenever you want to leave, the, uh, your term limit comes to an end when you're an African, you want to leave when you are very sure that whatever the evils that you did will be protected. And this is what is happening. Now, the whole visit from Moi, the whole visit to Capitol Hill is about succession. And so what is happening is all about politics to see who is going to take over when Kenyatta retires. That's according to me. Okay. So you are literally saying that this is about succession politics and all not what uh, the members of uh, the political class who visited Moi did say. So that's according to you. That's because... For five years, they have never been visiting Moi. Okay. Why of a sudden rush to visit Moi? Because what is happening is the regrouping. <coughs> we saw the uh, we saw the <coughs> we saw the NASA leader. Now we are seeing the, his his former deputy running mate. We saw the others all going to visit Moi. Mm -hmm. We saw the the governor of uh, of Mombasa doing that. So this uh, regrouping, this all a scheme on how succession politics is going to be in 2022. And the whole target here, Kwamba, they don't want the deputy to be near that succession politics. Okay, Ben Kinudia, let me come to you on this then. The former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, immediately after uh, the handshake between him and the president, said in Rift Valley, that is the deepest home turf politically, that William Ruto cannot be president without my support. I mean, uh, that surely is a red rug to the bull, isn't it? But I think first and foremost, before I even answer you on that, I would like to say this, that these visits to the former President Moy, to me, are diabolical, to say the least. Because if these people meant well, they would have been visiting former President Moy Kibaki, Kibaki, who would teach them on how to run an economy, on how to build better <laughs> governance. Because with Moy, we had impunity. We had Nyayo House torture chambers. Human we had violations. all human, sorts of human rights violations. So if people really do mean well for this country, they should have been going to Moy Kibaki, the president who used to be insulted and keep quiet, the president who gave us the democratic space we have, the president who accepted to usher in the 2010 constitution, the president who did so many things under whose care this economy grew. Mm -hmm. So if these people meant well, if these people meant to take this country to another level, we should have seen people trooping to go and see Emilio Moy Kibaki. Mm -hmm. But all of them are going to learn on how to bring back impunity and to bring torture chambers and all sorts of bad things. But now coming back to what Raila said that um, Ruto cannot be president unless he gets Raila's support. Okay. I think, truth be told, uh, in the successive elections that have been held, Raila Odinga has always mm. lost the election, if I was so to speak, mm -hmm. by a very small margin. It shows you that he has a huge support and that he commands a lot of votes. And it's only prudent for you to become president to work with certain people. Where, president, where um, the deputy president Ruto has put himself today, he's in a very difficult position. Okay. Because it appears it's like it's one against so many other people. And that will not work well for him. Mm -hmm. And presidency is not won by chest thumping. I have seen the people who are supporting him standing in rallies and speaking as, of, as if they own Kenya. Okay. What they need to understand <laughs> is that presidency is won through persuasion. Okay. You have to persuade people. You have to talk to them nicely. Some of them even force us. They even tell us, I have a 10-year-old son, let mm -hmm. me tell you. 
And every time I tell him something, I tell him once, I tell him, my son, this is what I want you. And it sinks in his head. But I think Kenyans have been treated to be so daft and so stupid that you have to be hammered something 10, 15 times, Ruto for 2022. Are we sick in the head? We understand, we've had. Okay. I mean, some of the things I was taught in chemistry were very hard and I was only taught once and I remember them. I'm okay, so, so, so these all, people need to slow down. Okay. We are tired of hearing the same thing all the time. Okay. Yeah, we have other things to concentrate on. Okay, so on. all this is that is happening is a, a merely a political cliche. It's noise. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Karen Diazi at the center, I'll come to you. For far too long, there have been attempted political maneuvers in the country to try and block the Deputy President William Ruto or frustrate. That's what his allies have said. I mean, we have seen several visits to the former President Daniel Tuitich Arab Moy. How will the Moy factor in this case tilt the political balance owing to the fact that this man has been in power for 24 years? Yes, there are gruesome allegations of human rights violations, including the 1991 elections in which he, together with the late Vice President, that is uh, uh, Professor Josta Itoti, were accused of using the YK92, especially in regions that opposed the President. How, how will this entirely shift the entire political balance in the country to the extent that uh, it does genuinely, according to what's, be, what's held by the Deputy President allies, scattered its chances for 2022 because that's what they are saying. And to just quote what is in the papers, they say they have raised queries about uh, the successive trips to the Cabra home by some politicians. Of course, they never wanted to mention by name, but of course, the last one to visit there was Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Uh, well, I, I don't, I don't uh, like Ben, I don't really understand the, the, these visits. I don't understand them because uh, the if it's political value, it is of no political value. No politician gains anything out of uh, visiting Moi. As it stands today, the vast majority of those who are registered voters are people who never experienced the Moi rule. So they, 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 you going there does not, it will not even resonate with the, high, the, 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 the highest voter numbers we have, which is the youth. Two, I think, um, I think now I can, I can see what Moi once said that Inji uh, Nawenyewe. Mm -hmm. And if that is the case, then there is something that they are going to pick out of, or they, they want to win his favor over the uh, the system, mm -hmm. something that is beyond, the, the, they say, the dark system, beyond what we see, uh, beyond the politics that we analyze every day, something in the background. Mm -hmm. And from uh, last year's election, <coughs> mm -hmm. I, I learned one thing, that the, 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 countries, the country, for sure, this country has, uh, is under state capture. And, and I think... Uh, that is where, where most of these people have realized that unless I shake the owners of the state, yes, mm -hmm. this is the, the, now we are talking <coughs> about those who own the state. Mm -hmm. And unless I, I shake uh, those who own the state, and I think that is why they are not going to Kibaki's home, because Kibaki may be as president, a and, and as president he never, he never, uh, he never, he never owned the state. Uh, that me means that uh, he, up to date, uh, uh, he does not receive, uh, I don't know if I should say this upset. visits. Uh, uh, <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. But I think uh, with Moi, Moi still controls a big stake of the state. That is why you must go to him if you want to, 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 to see the future. And, and, and okay, it's not I'll, just I'll just post you. Allow me to pick this call from Mary.